Hello, my penguins. Today, we are going to turn random things into watercolor paper with this cold press ground. Apparently, you just paste it onto whatever surface and boom, let it dry watercolor paper. Let us head inside and try it out. Whew. like marshmallow fluff. Oh my goodness. Printer paper. It begins. I would describe the texture of this material as grainy gesso. And it smells like gesso too. It was also quite easy to apply. Cardboard. Mini canvas. Counter sample. I'm going to do the back because it has more texture. A CD. I'm going to sand this first. When you loan out your CDs... While I waited for everything to completely dry, I made dinner. Macaroni and cheese. Hell yeah! All right, everything is now dry, and it's time to test them out and make some art. Breaking out the watercolors, of course. And for the copy paper piece, I am drawing a silly bird, kind of inspired by Dr. Seuss. Um, sketching with on this was a pain because the pencil did not erase. And the inking was also a pain because of the texture. Though I probably could have fixed the texture if I sanded the surface first, but you know, I didn't do that, so I had to deal with it. I also had issues with the watercolor bleeding out. And you're probably like, Wiley, you're using wet watercolor next to wet watercolor. Of course it's gonna bleed. And I'm like, no, with other papers, I haven't had this issue. Anyways, completed burb. Now for the illustration on the treated cardboard, I am drawing Kirby floating on an inner tube in the ocean, being happy and cute. Now I approach the painting more carefully this time to avoid the bleeding out since that was an issue previously. And I thought it'd be fun to add some like alternate colors in the water to make it a bit more Fun. I don't know if it worked or not, but I tried something and I think it looks pretty good. Here he is complete. This has got to be one of my favorites. Next up, the canvas. I am drawing puffballs. The story of this is that the puffball was given a cute heart-shaped sticker and it decided to stick it in the middle of its face. I think the purpose of this ground is to turn canvas into watercolor canvas instead of just going out and buying specifically a watercolor canvas. I did unfortunately have the same bleeding issues with this one though. All right, here it is in all of its Glory? Now this counterpiece one is where the inability to erase pencil marks has struck disaster. Try as I may, I could not remove all the lines, and every movement across a pencil would smudge it 
further making the problem worse. So she looks dirty and very wonky. My girl Abby did not deserve to be done dirty like this. Ah. Oh. Though the coloring process actually went pretty well. So I guess it balanced out in a way. I'm just... <laughs> uh, my wonky baby. <laughs> my ugly wonky baby. <laughs> CD time, baby! So for this one, I approached it a bit differently, and I chose a pencil that is of a much harder lead. This one says it's HB, but that's a freaking lie. This is at least like a 2H. <laughs> so I centered the whole of the CD on her chest to represent that her soul is empty. Which is why she's so sad. Also, I know it was a trend to paint on CDs a while ago, and I want to paint on CDs now that the trend is long dead. Um, I'm not sure when that will happen, but I have the material, so I just, when I feel the mood to do that, <laughs> it'll be a video. Here she is. I love how she turned out. This is another one of my favorites of this video. Here are the finished illustrations. Ah, would I recommend the watercolor grounds? I'm a bit iffy on it. On one hand, it does what it says it does and turns things into watercolor paper. But it's not good watercolor paper. It bleeds. You can't erase it all. The texture could probably be fixed with sanding, but... The other factors are just ugh. On that note, if you enjoyed this video, give it a like. Have you heard of watercolor grounds before this? And which illustration is your favorite? Tell me in the comment section down below. And if you'd like to see more from me and join the penguin colony, subscribe! Thank you so much for watching, and goodbye. <laughs>